If the head is not doing very well, the arteries are kind of block, cupping the underarm, this area. Especially the left, left side, that will help you even more. Today, so I want you to know something you can immediately benefit from understanding it. All the energy buttons, they locate in the joints, in the fingers, in your feet, and in your spine. So when you move your wrist like that, right? You know what? How many energy channels and energy buttons you open? Okay, see, let, let, me, let me show you. So there's an energy button right here about you know, two inches from the second line of your, uh, the bottom of the palm. Just put your hand, two fingers right over there. So at the end, with the edge of the, two, the, the middle finger, so right here in between the tendons of, uh, of your, your hand, this is the energy button for your heart. People who have an irregular heartbeat or high blood pressure, hey, this is the button. You, you can massage deeply, you can put needle in, right? So, but you know what? And here, all along you know, the, uh, the bottom of the hand, you have a lot of energy uh, buttons for the heart, for the reproductive organs, for the lungs. And the hagu point in the hand, right over here, this is good for stomach, digestive system, headaches. This is almost the, the point that's good for the pains. Most of the body, you can help to stop the pain, especially the pain in the neck, in the head, and the stomach, and the chest. It can also help too. So now, by moving your hands gently like this, breathing of the universe, holding your hands in you know, the harmony of the universe, doing those movements, you are able to help to open up slowly and stimulate that intelligence of Qi to help you. And the elbows, they have a lot of energy buttons connecting to the lungs. For instance, if you have a coughing in the lungs, you know what? Cup the inside part of the elbows. Cup. Like that. Do the left side first and go to the right. You are able to stimulate the energy buttons, the qi buttons, to go connect to the lungs, to clear energy blockages in the lungs, in the chest, in the breast, and in the height. Sometimes you feel this uh, a pinching pain in this part of the hand. So now here I draw a picture here. So I'm not an artist, please forgive me. Okay, so right hand, right? And the left hand, now then the, the, this was were reversed. Okay, so this is this part, the middle part, that is the height. So sometimes you do, do you feel as a, oh, the other area, I don't feel too much, just this area, I feel the pinching pain or the numbness in the uh, uh, under the arm, uh, I mean the under the thumb area, or this uh, kind of a, uh, kind of a numbness in the bottom of the palm, or so under uh, under the you know, little finger, you know, so close to the bottom in this area, I feel wow, there's a lot of a cold feeling. And then, so again, this area, you know, right under, underneath of the mm, pinky finger, and then you feel, well, there's a purple color there. You know, the color is abnormal when I detect energy blockage. What does that mean? Well, you tell. The middle over here, that's the height. You can pinpoint this person, ah, the height energy is really, really in challenge. And this area, that's the liver. And the bottom over here, uh, the bottom of the palm, that is the kidneys, and the lungs over here, next to the kidneys. So you memorize this picture, you know, it's time when you, especially when you uh, determine how serious this person's blockages is or are, now this is very, very helpful. You know, if you feel this uh, a very strong sensation in any of these spots, that means 
very strong, maybe even life-threatening energy blockages in that part of the body. So it's very, very handy. Of course, you need, you need to practice more. So in our Healing Connection, you know, we'll have an opportunity to practice this. So you know, say, okay, now I want you to put up one hand, you know, left hand, right hand, doesn't matter. Um, now I want you to, at this moment, um, find somebody in your memory who is in critical situation. And then you scan, scan from distance this person's energy field and see how that feels. Okay, I'll give you two minutes. All right, now close your eyes. And go through your memory at this moment and see who at this moment you can think who has like a, a strong or serious energy blockages in the body. Uh, all right, now you lift up your hand and detect energy blockage and see what part of the body has more serious energy blockage. Okay, scan. Just slowly move your hand. Turn, drop your elbows, drop your shoulder, stretch your fingers slightly open and detect, scan. Okay, from the head down to the feet. And breathe slowly and gently while you're doing so. And focus on the feeling of the hand. Okay, 30 seconds to go. Okay, now you can put your hand down, take a deep breath. So rub your hands and massage your face. So up to you, turn in. You put yourself in a very deep meditation, actually in seconds. So each time when you finish that, you need to rub your hands and massage your face to bring yourself back to <laughs> where you, we are doing now at this moment. Otherwise, you'll feel kind of not grounded, right? So make sure each time you do that. Mm -hmm.